Hi, this is Dave Philippi with FabCAD, and if you've used AutoCAD or FabCAD for any length of time, you've probably come up with what you consider your favorite command. My favorite command in CAD is the stretch command. Back when I had the fabricating company, we used to send the new installers out to the truck to go get the rail stretcher. Well, in CAD, you've got a stretcher. It's so cool. So here we're going to stretch some gates, and I've drawn some red lines here to try to demonstrate a couple of the tricks to help you understand how the stretch command works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I click stretch. You notice it says select objects to stretch by crossing window, which is this window here. Now with FabCAD, crossing window works both ways because normally when you're selecting something, this way is a window which surrounds, and this way is a crossing. And you can't use a window to use for stretch command. It has to be a crossing. So if you're using regular AutoCAD, just make sure you're using the crossing window, not the regular selection window like this, in order to do a stretch. So let me go ahead and click the stretch command again, and I'm going to cross through. What I want to do is make sure I've anchored this gate. I'm going to make this gate taller, so I'm going to stretch here. And the red area here, I'm not stretching because I need to anchor the gate so I stretch from some place. So I right-click to select the objects, and then base point, I'm just going to pick any point here, and I'm just going to move this up, and you see how it's stretching, and the red area stays where it's supposed to. Uh, if I don't do that, if I were to go stretch and stretch the whole gate, nothing's going to happen because I have no anchor. Okay. So I'm going to go back and stretch again. And also I can tell it exactly how much I want it to stretch. So I'm going to go up here and do stretch command again. Right click, pick a point. And I'm going to type in, say, 6 and enter. And the gate is stretched 6 inches. Now, Obviously, when you look at this, this medallion piece here now is off-center, and the stretch command comes in handy with things like this. So when I, I want to move this down, instead of just moving it down and trimming and extending these picket lines, I just can use the stretch command, and I just put a stretch window around this part here. And it's as long as I keep that anchored at this end and keep it anchored on this end, I can move this thing up and down any way I want. Okay, and then center it. I could actually have designated exactly how far I could have typed in three inches, and that would have recentered it exactly. So that's one thing you can do with stretch. Also, I'll do a stretch command again. I'm going to just stretch the bottom of this gate here. I want to surround everything, and I can move it up. I can stretch up or stretch down. Now, if I go in and do a stretch command, and I only stretch part of, say, I want to move a stretch part of this, what's going to happen is the left side is anchored. You see that? Now, unless you want that, then you would. this is what you would end up with. So you got, you got to make sure, check your preview when you do it, to make sure it's stretching the way you want it to stretch. Now, if I wanted to stretch like this arc here, I could if I go to stretch. It doesn't seem to want to go anywhere, okay? So what you can do in a situation like that is you can click on these two arcs. If I want to do both of them at the same time. And I would hold my shift key down to light up both. So I left click on this arc and light it up and light up this one here. And then I can click on this grip and then I can stretch this way. So for arcs, you would use the grips to stretch. Now, if it's two arcs that are connected, wherever the joints are, you could stretch those. But in the center of an arc like this, with one single arc, you'd have to use your grips in order to do that. Here again, I can move the lock box. I could go in here and stretch and go inside like so. And then move up and down. Just remember, when you want to stretch something like this gate here, just make sure you anchor it that you don't over select and you have something like the top bar there to anchor those pickets so that when you stretch this everything will come out just the way you want it to look. So you can make one copy of a gate and show a customer different heights and all that very quickly. Now if you're going to do a width of course what happens in a situation like that you stretch if I wanted to stretch 
I could do like half on each side and then add another picket and do it that way. I go forward this way and stretch and I go stretch over here. Now, I don't want that lockbox inside of that so I can I can hit R for remove and remove the lock from the stretch command and then go four inches this way and then move everything over, add the picket and reset my gate. If you have auto rail, the simplest way to do it is just redraw it, type in your new length and it automatically will put all the pickets, everything in the right spacing. It's probably faster to do it that way than it would be to use the stretch command when you're talking about widths. So hope this little tutorial on the stretch command will give you an idea how the thing works and go back to your CAD program and play around with it and have fun with it. Take care. Bye.